Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 51.9, and it looks like we're going to get pulled possibly back into DJ mode for a little bit, but let's just uh, check this out. So it says we have CHOP, markers attached to samples can now be saved, which I think sounds super cool. So I've got the tracks here that we had before. So let's go to CHOP, and... I probably have a fade out at the end here, which will make it not work the way that I want. Uh, at first I was thinking, let's go auto mark and try that. But I suspect that's not going to, if I have a fade out, it's going to not line up perfectly, which could be fine. We can go adjust like the start points and stuff, but I don't know. Do we do it? Do we not do it? Let's try it. What the heck? Let me go auto mark. Let's go time division. 8 sound, uh, back to time division, 8 sounds fine, because if it's off, it'll <laughs> be off just a little bit, and we can kind of pull things back if we need to for markers, so we got the first one where we start. So we get kind of like different parts of the song. And we, I think it's only going to use the first seven markers. Yeah, you get the echo at the end. So I'm, I know we're, we're going to be off here. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Let's go to marker one. And let's just zoom way in. And I'm thinking that marker needs to move. Here, maybe? If we want to keep things in time, we probably want to be as tight as we can. Actually, I should probably use zero cross. Nah, I think we want this marker. There we go. So, anyway. So, we we're going to probably go back again. So, if I'm just listening. All I'm doing is listening for the kick drum. <laughs> and uh, trying to figure out where we line up with the kick here. And sometimes you're just not going to get these perfect when you have, like, all kinds of stuff going on. You can see like here, the kicks like there. All right. How many do we want of these? Let's try and get the first four set up right. That's probably here. Let's zoom in. All right. Besides a uh, going crazy there, it says here if you hit exit. It's on the next page. It says this, but it says if we hit exit, it saves the the markers. So presumably we can come back in and we still have the markers. So that is awesome because it means that we can set markers for songs. We can prep them. You can. Well, let's just try it. We're gonna turn it off. <laughs> Hopefully they're still there turn it back on and you will still have your markers. And the next thing I want to do is go into DJ mode and just make sure that it picks them up. Cause I think this is pretty cool because it'll allow us to move through different sections of songs in a pretty consistent and hopefully fun way. Um, let's go check. So shift start. All right. They're there. Awesome. All right. So next up, DJ mode. Let's get the uh, queue up and we will just select this one. So we can play. And we just hit the bank. Here we go. 
Um, why is it not changing? I guess I don't understand what this view is showing me when I hit the bank button. So I hold shift down. So, but you can see we jump around. So, yeah, I exit out, but another uh, great feature for DJ mode. I think that's cool. Would be nice to have 16 markers, but I'm not going to. I, th I think I can work with eight <laughs> and still do plenty of good stuff. Anyway, guys, I let me just check and make sure that there's nothing else here. Um, one last thing it says, we'll just do that, and then I'll get bounce out of here. It says, a shortcut has been added to collectively delete markers. So let's just we've got this other track, shift, chop. We've got one marker. So I must have put something. That, this is probably from when I was playing around earlier. It saved the one marker. It says, if you want to delete it, hold shift and delete, and that marker's gone. So presumably, we can go auto mark, say sure. we get that and if we go back in shift delete they're gone all right well you pulled me back into dj mode roland and i definitely dig that i think that's cool anyway guys thanks for stopping by keep making music keep having fun if it sounds good it is good and peace